everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel and another episode of my Getting Things Done Home Edition. Today I'm doing the Kirby. Um, so if you're brand new, welcome. And if you don't know what's going on, <laughs> there used to be two um, old medicine cabinets that were inserts. And one of them, they were from probably like the 30s. Uh, just based on the design, that was very Art Deco. Um, this one mirror fell off. It came off the frame, the plastic, whatever that was frame, and it was not fixable. So for quite some time, we had just the shelves with nothing in it. And part of my list for this year is to replace the cabinets. What I did instead of doing two inserts, because they are expensive, somebody asked me why I chose to do a cabinet that's hanging from the wall instead of doing the cubbies. The cubbies are about $150 each. That would have been 300 bucks just to do those two. And they really are small. They really are small. Instead, I did one cabinet, which I've installed on this channel. I think that was episode 10 or 11, something like that. And then this one, instead of putting an insert or another cabinet or a mirror or artwork, whatever, I've decided to do a little um, insert, like a niche. And those niches, by the way, if you go online and you try to price them out, the ones that are already built and you just insert them, I have plenty of wood like this that's left over from... Let me see, what project was this? Um, that may have been the fence, the garden fence, uh, part of it at least. Um, I have a lot of this. So what I'm gonna do is cut it to size. Um, there's some really large nails here in the back that I cannot remove because they are part of um, the old siding and I don't wanna mess around with that. So what I'm gonna do is cover the back with pieces of wood like this. It's going to move it forward a little bit, that's fine. And then once I have that done, I'll do sides here and then I'll do uh, one here and then I'll do one in the middle and they will be basically just one and two shelves. For the bottom part, I will put in um, the cotton pads the Q-tips and the uh, little dental floss sort of thing. I have little containers that are all matching, so that's fine. Uh, it's gonna look pretty good. I think I got black and white, I'm not sure. It's been a while, <laughs> I forgot what I got. It's, it's still in the box. Um, so I'll do that. And then on top here, I'll probably put maybe um, a plant, a trailing plant, either full plant or real plant, or some decorative items. That's the kind of stuff my kids like. Um, so that's the plan. I don't know how long I'm going to be here and how long it's going to take. If it's anything like the cabinet or the fan I just finished installing today, uh, it's going to take me a while and I'm going to get really frustrated. <laughs> But I'm here for the challenge. Once it's installed, I have to caulk it and I have to paint it. Today I probably won't finish it because uh, I have to have the paint dry. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. And once it's done, I'll just put a frame around it. That's it, decorative frame or plain frame. Let's get started. You know, now that I think of it, I don't have to put these pieces in the back. I have some kind of like luo um, that's left over for the backing of my secretary in the basement. I may do that instead because the problem with this is the measurement. How many can I fit in, either horizontally or vertically? 
It's three and a half. Fourteen. So I might be able to put four. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because the Luo is flexible and then this is not even because of the nails. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, what's the length? Nineteen and a quarter. In case you're wondering how I'm cutting them, I have a piece against the wall and I have those, um, whatever they were, they were part of the uh, cabinet's uh, packing material. So I'm putting it here as a buffer and in particular here against the um, wall and I'm just putting this one like this. And I'm taking my regular saw. So the advantage of doing that is that it gives me um, a way to push it so that I have the leverage and it's locked in place. And then when I'm done, it's tapping against this so it's not hitting the wall. See, once in a while I come up with some good stuff, but you know, rare, but it happens. Okay, let's go. This is all getting sanded by the way, I'm just saying, because <laughs> I know they're not even. Okay, uh, these are um, finishing nails. Yeah, no, I should work out most. Now, I'm going to do the bottom first. If I just put this regular width, yeah. It stops right on, but it's not a very deep shelf, is it? This, I suppose. I got a gap in the back here. I don't know if that's what I want because this doesn't look very deep. I was looking to bring it a little bit more like this, but I got to think about when I have the new vanity facing this way. A people's shoulder going to bang into it, so maybe I need to put it flush, don't I? Okay, let's do something here. And the gap in the back is not too bad. I can fill that up. I just need to knock that piece right here.
Let's do 14. Okay, but this one, I need to glue it before I put on the finishing nails. I need the half mark between here and here for one shelf and what I'm going to do is do two pieces have the shelf rest on those pieces nail them in and then two pieces here um, instead of having a full piece and then I have to put tacks or um, rests for the shelves. One shelf is enough. I'm putting the top now so that I can have a true measurement between the top and the bottom. I'm going to need a wider um, a frame. I don't think this is enough. We'll see. Maybe it is. No matter what, I don't have enough. So I'm going to need um, to get a frame. But I can paint everything and then put the frame last aside. Okay, let me uh, nail that in. Before I freak you out, Pfft, that's not level. That is. Ay, 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 old houses. shelf. I believe it's still 14 but we're gonna check anyway. Yeah, a little bit under 14. It's done. All I gotta do now is um, caulk, put the uh, wood putty, fill in, um, and then what I'm gonna do is prime it because this is pine, and I'm going to have um, 
on. I will move you forward just a tiny bit. There we go. Um, there's knots, and it's it's gonna come through. Okay, so if I put a regular frame like this, which I know I don't have enough, um, it's perfect here, but it's too short there. So I need a frame that's a little bit wider. Otherwise, I gotta do the whole um, plaster here. No more. I don't wanna. Uh, if I put it right on the edge, Oh, it does it if I do it it's kind of hard because it's the wrong length okay so if I do it right on the edge it's covering it so I don't care I may end up doing that just do the edges I'll leave the big hole in the back and then here it covers it and then here it covers it as well I don't think I have it now No, I don't have enough. Okay, that might be next week. Unless I go to Home Depot now, after I cock everything. I may do that. Um, all right, let me sand. So I cleaned up everything and to be honest I'm kind of tired. It's 8 o'clock. I'd like to go sit down and read. Um, this is where I'm at. It's been caulked and uh, I just gotta get the frame now. I know it looks crooked here on top. It's leveled. <laughs> it's the uh, opening that's not straight um, but the whole thing is leveled and um, all I gotta do is go to Home Depot and get a frame. I think I'm gonna get something very simple because remember this is mostly the boys bathroom so anything flourish is not gonna pan out um, I gotta sand a little bit more add a little bit more of the wood putty in that corner right here and I'm ready to prime and paint and that's it so I got a little cubby and saved a ton of money on it um, I enjoyed doing it actually I, it wasn't difficult it's just that you know I'm not a great cutter so or measurer so I'm off here and there but otherwise I think it looks pretty good now I'm going to talk to you about the lights and what I'm going to do with them okay the lights uh, you remember my dilemma right keep the lights change the lights um, again I'd rather invest in a new ceiling light because this one I think is the original and it's just so what I'm going to do um, is keep the lights going down 
no matter what because I can't move them um, up. I could on the one above the cubby but not the one above the cabinet. I can't do that because of the arm. So I'm going to take them down. I'm going to scrape them and they're going to be um, spray painted in matte black and I think one of you, maybe more than one of you, suggested that and um, it's a good idea, I like the idea because when I get a new vanity um, to replace this one, maybe before the end of the year, who knows, it's not on my to-do list but might as well, uh, if I have the time, otherwise early 2024, I'm actually thinking about getting a black um, vanity. Uh, is it going to be kind of off with the white cabinet? I don't think so because the top of the vanity is going to be white. But if I do the um, lights in black, I can get black faucets. And I really like black faucets. Um, so it's going to be spray painted in black. I'm going to get rid in matte. I'm going to get rid of the glass shades, they're too big, and instead I'm going to put globes, the white bulbs that are the vanity bulbs, the vanity um, mirror bulbs, so they're back, they're about this big. Um, so we'll see how it looks, and if they're too small, um, I can get bigger globes to put over, uh, or I'll change the shades, I'll do different shades, uh, but those shades are just too big. They're about three inches below the bulb that I have right now. Um, so that's the plan. And then if I am changing that to black, I'll have to maybe, maybe not change the uh, um, towels the towel holders, but the problem with the towel holders is that they are part of the walls, they're made of uh, tiles, and um, it's going to be a pain to remove and replace, so maybe I'll just leave it like that. But that's the goal. Primarily, I need to focus on this. This is on my list, and this is definitely getting out of here before the end of the year. Um, probably not the next video because uh, I'm kind of not tired of the bathroom but you know I have other projects I'm going to work on and this is going to take some time so what's going to happen is that in the next video I'll finish the cupboard and I'll do the lights because the lights are not going to take a long time I'll probably start with the lights since I can uh, work in just plain daylight here and then I'll install the frame, send everything, paint everything, prime, paint a couple of times um, and that would be it. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm perfectly aware, again, that I could have built the cupboard on its own and then just insert it. Um, I just didn't feel that I was going to be able to do it because I, even though I've built my own furniture before, well, if you can call it furniture, bookcases, okay, um, I could see how the whole thing wouldn't fit. I would have to undo it, redo it, or, um, you know, I, I just anticipated more shenanigans. And this was not hard. It wasn't hard at all. So, hope you enjoyed it and you like the cubby and I'm looking forward to seeing it all done with the frame. String of pearls, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know if I have enough light for string of pearls. Um, succulent, I don't really know how to take care of succulent. Every time I've had one, I kill them, so, and I don't have um, enough light in here for a plant. I could put a fern, but it's not tall enough. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a full one. It's not very feng shui though. Um, anyway, and then I gotta bring in some artwork. Um, Maybe like a piece here. Willie told us the other day that he really likes the circus. As I do. <laughs> Everything about it, the music, the colors. He likes the clown. I don't like the clowns, but I love the circus. So I may put in um, 
a couple of circus prints. Because it goes with the music anyway. Um, entertainment, right? I can't wait to get rid of this. It's going to look so much better. I could even get a similar shower curtain. No, I want to keep the one with the uh, music. It's old though. I don't know, we'll see. I'm rambling. I'm tired. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I can't remember if it's number 13 or 14. I think it's 13. Um, subscribe right here in the corner and click that bell button so you get notified anytime I post a new video and you want to see in particular the one that's coming up after that. And you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at My Great Challenge. All my links are down below for my two Etsy shop, Vintage Vines, Frenchy and Tabby, and the channel merch. And if you want to support projects like this and get access to exclusive content not seen on YouTube, you can support my Patreon at patreon.com slash mygreatchallenge. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.